You are listening to 9.7, and what you just heard was the theme song of WWE's Undertaker. I guess that was a somewhat a Halloween theme so, um, song. And anyhow, let's talk about wrestling. Yesterday was the WWE pay-per-view, um, Hell in a Cell. The main event was Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. It was the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match and the first women's pay-per-view main event. And it was pretty good. The beginning was kind of a flashback to Undertaker vs. Mankind at King of the Ring 1998, where Taker threw Mankind off the cell. Except Sasha and Charlotte didn't go all the way up. They were both climbing the, shell, the cell, then Charlotte grabbed Sasha and powerbombed her through a table. It looked like Sasha was going to be carried off on a stretcher, but Sasha chose to fight. Good match, but the win ending was kind of weak. It looked like Charlotte was trying to put Sasha through the table, but it wouldn't break. So Charlotte covered Sasha 1-2-3... And won the match. Other than that, I think it was a very good match. A four-star match. Divas wrestling has really come a long way. Back in the Attitude Era, the Divas would only serve to dress up half-naked and get and turn on the horny teenage girl, boys. And then when wrestling became more family-friendly, they would just put on pointless filler matches. And now, they're main event pay-per-view. So this Divas revolution is working out fine. I guess, um... Sasha was initially scheduled to win, but um, they the last minute Vince McMahon chose to have Charlotte win um, because um, he wa they wanted to move into a Charlotte versus Bailey feud sooner than the creative team originally planned for. So I guess it's gonna be Charlotte versus Bailey coming up. <coughs> um, Sasha versus um, Charlotte was one of three Hell in a Cell matches. The other was um, for the Universal title, was Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. And after a disappointing bout of the Clash of Champions, this Hell in a Cell match was nice, much better. They had a nice sequence of moves where they would constantly reverse and counter each other's respective move and kicks. And at the end of the sequence, they were both knocked down. Um, it was a. Up until that point, it was a pretty slow match, but it really picked up. The crowd was chanting, This was awesome. This was the match I knew Rollins and Owens could deliver. Chris Jericho was at ringside. Um, what happens, there were two referees, but then Owens sprayed a, a, a fire extinguisher at one of them. One of them was locked outside, and then Jericho locked the referee on the outside, so he interfered. Jericho helped Owens win, and so Owens is still the champ, heading the Survivor Series. The, the, also, the first match of the card was also a Hell in a Cell match, but you know, it was for the United States title. Roman Reigns versus Rusev. Crowd was split for the end of the match. You could, they would, just like they would do for Cena, they were going to chant, Let's go Cena, Cena sucks. Well, um, they were chanting, Let's go Rusev, Rusev sucks. It was your standard match between your typical all-American good guy, or babyface Roman Reigns, and your anti-American bad guy, Rusev. But the crowd, wrestling fans these days, don't like the goody little two-shoes that Roman Reigns is and that what John Cena is. So, the crowd was split half and half between Roman and Rusev. Pretty standard match. Both guys used the cell and some weapons as well. In the end, Rusev hit the spear and retained the U.S. title. It was a three-star match. <coughs> New Day defended their tag team titles against Sheamus and Cesaro. <coughs> this match is unique. It was, it was a babyface team, Cesaro. It was a babyface Cesaro and a heel Sheamus versus the all-babyface team in the New Day. It was an okay match, but I didn't like the ending. In the end, Sheamus hit Xavier Woods' um, trombone. Hit Xavier Woods with Xavier's trombone, which he calls Francesca 2. And um, then Kofi Kingston hit his move Trouble in Paradise and Sheamus. And says Kofi wasn't the late, wasn't a wrestling. Um, the referee disqualified um, Cesaro and Sheamus. Disqualified the New Day. Cesaro and Sheamus won, but the New Day retained the tag team titles. They are still chasing um, Demolition's record. So I wouldn't surprise me if they break it. The club defeated Ender's own cast in the standard match. Enzo and Cass cut out their promo for the match. They are very entertaining. But wait, in my opinion, when it comes to the, 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 rest, the new wrestling brand split, when it comes to wrestling, SmackDown is the better show. But when it comes to overall entertainment, Raw is the better show, in my opinion. So I give, I give Hell of a Cell 7 out of 10. Not that bad. Not, it was a pretty good pay-per-view. Um, so, um, now we're on the Survivor Series. There will be three Survivor Series matches. One between the main eventers, um... One between the um, um, the um, divas and one between the tag teams. So, and we have some news: John Cena and Randy Orton will not be uh, not advertised. They might still be there, 
But I guess Cena's gonna be um d doing filming the second season of American Grit and Fox. He won't be expected to baby until Christmas. Randy Orton is expected a baby, so congratulations to him. So, yeah, SmackDown's top two stars are out. Just who are they gonna send out against Raw? Who are SmackDown's top stars? Dean Ambrose, uh, Bray Wyatt, I guess, uh, AJ Styles. That's the big problem with this brand split. Raw has Raw has the more big household names. They have more top names. SmackDown is technically the quote B show. If you have any thoughts on wrestling, hit me up on Twitter or anything else sports wise. The call next is Twilight Zone by Golden Ear. It's Kilo Thunder Voice of the Music Fan.